So we are nearly complete on Apple's two-year transition from Intel and x86 to their own Apple Silicon processors, and honestly, it's been going pretty well. There was a lot of skepticism back when this all started, but I think, honestly, it's been going better than most of us expected. However, if we look back on the Windows side, well, not a lot has happened. A couple of years ago, when Windows on ARM was announced, it seemed like perhaps the PC side of things could also start moving in this direction, but until now, not that much has happened, at least until today. A new device called Project Volterra could give us some insight into what Windows on ARM could look like in the future, and might honestly give us some clues into maybe the return of Boot Camp on the Mac? Hmm, let's get into this. Oh, hey, almost didn't see you guys there. I was relaxing in my Autonomous Ergo Chair Pro. And hey, that reminds me, Autonomous sponsored today's video to tell you about their Memorial Day sale. Right now until May 31st, you can snag huge savings on a ton of amazing products. Save 20% on this Ergo Chair, as well as the Smart Desk Connect, a convenient height adjustable work desk with smart app control. Plus, you can get 40% off lots of their accessories if bundled with a desk or chair. I have to say, the Ergo Chair Pro is extremely comfortable and features a ton of adjustments, so it's definitely worth checking out. Visit the link in the description below to save big on autonomous gear today. And now, let's get back to the video. Okay, so first of all, yes, Windows on ARM has existed for a little while now, and in terms of mainstream consumer products that you can buy that use it, there are six. Six. If you're shopping for Windows on ARM, you can choose from this dizzying array of products, including the Microsoft Surface Pro X, the Samsung Galaxy Book S, the Samsung Galaxy Book Go, the Acer Spin 7, the HP Elite Folio 2-in-1, and the HP Laptop 14. With so many choices, you'd be hard-pressed to find a device or a lifestyle that doesn't suit your needs. Okay, I'm kidding. Um, all of those are terrible rubbish. And pretty much the consensus for Windows on ARM has been that it's not, that it's not good. It's just not good. You can kind of think of Windows on ARM as almost Chromebook levels of basicness. I mean, one of the main reasons that people talk about using Windows is because of app compatibility, which with x86 is undeniably true when compared to Apple Silicon. But if you go to Windows on ARM, you're gonna have even less app compatibility than Mac OS. So forget gaming. I mean, even if you could run the game, the hardware isn't good enough to run it well, and most applications just straight up won't work because quite frankly, Microsoft hasn't put the time in and OEMs haven't put the time in to actually make this happen. It's sort of a chicken and the egg situation here in terms of supply and demand because on the one hand, you have Microsoft and OEMs who say, well, there's not really a demand for Windows on ARM because, I mean, we have to go through all this work to develop this entirely new system and the computers to run it on, and then people don't even seem to want to buy it. But maybe people don't want to buy it because it sucks. And if it was better, like in the case of Apple Silicon, people would see the benefits of and choose it. And then on top of that, there was the Qualcomm exclusivity agreement with Microsoft that completely stamped out competition. And in addition to that, I mean, you have to imagine that OEMs have deals with AMD and Intel that would prevent them from just willy nilly choosing other CPU manufacturers. So all in all, yeah, there are a lot of reasons why Microsoft has so far been pretty quiet on transitioning to ARM, but things might be starting to change. During Microsoft's developer conference, Build 22, they introduced a new project called Volterra. And this thing basically looks like a Mac mini clone. Project Volterra is a small little micro PC that kind of looks like a Mac mini, even though it's actually made out of recycled ocean plastic rather than aluminum, like what Apple does. So they haven't released any specs, but it runs a Qualcomm Snapdragon system on a chip 
that's ARM based. And that's actually a really big deal because this is almost word for word what Apple did back in 2020, albeit Microsoft is being a lot more low key about it. In a blog post, Microsoft's Panos Panay said, with native ARM64 Visual Studio, .NET support and Project Volterra coming later this year, we are releasing new tools to help you take the first step on this journey. Ding, 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 ding. Alarm bells going off here. Does that sound familiar? Because it should. That's basically exactly what Apple did at WWDC 2020 when they started handing out these $500 DTKs that ran on the A12Z. That's exactly what happened. Now, I will say Microsoft's language here is a lot less forceful than Apple's because when Apple announced that they were doing this transition, they went all in. They, they really put all of their chips on this. They said, this is it. This is the future. We're going to be ditching x86 completely. So if you are on the Mac train, then you need to be on the Apple Silicon train. Microsoft isn't doing that here. And I think that could be a bit of a problem because while it's great that Microsoft is offering this kit and, and giving developers a sample of what it could be like to work with ARM, because they're not actually making any forceful claims about, you know, this is the direction we're heading, that means it's all optional, which is probably gonna result in a lot of the same issues that I talked about earlier. It's kind of ironic because in recent years, Apple has been criticized quite a bit for lacking innovation. I mean, look at the iPhone. I have a whole video on why Apple tries to keep the iPhone boring year over year, but Apple is unique in the laptop and desktop space right now because they are actually able to make something like an ARM transition happen. So it's kind of ironic because in many ways they get criticized for lacking innovation, but because of the way that they do things where they have complete control from top to bottom, from manufacturing to software, they can say, we would like to do ARM. Okay, everyone's doing that now. Whereas Microsoft, really the best they can do is give developers the option and hope that the marketplace takes it in that direction. Now, I do think it's also worth noting that Project Volterra isn't just a ripoff of the DTK because Microsoft has a slightly different vision with this project. Satya Nadella said, we are entering a world where every Windows computer will draw on the combined power of CPUs, GPUs, NPUs, and even a new coprocessor, Azure Compute, in this hybrid cloud to edge world. You'll be able to do large scale training in the cloud and do inference at the edge and have the fabric work as one. So Microsoft kind of sees the evolution of apps and computers where you would have your local PC where you can save files and use OneDrive and have your apps locally installed, and then also having an AI coprocessor that has basically been ignored by x86 that could pitch in with artificial intelligence tasks and machine learning and stuff that goes on behind what you can locally process on your PC. To me, that sounds a little bit grandiose. You know, I don't know that we are necessarily reaching a point where we're gonna have like these big brother servers that are like doing all this work behind the scenes and then our local computer is just like a little streaming device. Um, those services exist and they're useful, but it's hard to say for sure whether that's, you know, the future, but from a perspective of utilizing additional capabilities offered by ARM devices, this I think is very positive news because if you were hoping that bootcamp would come back, well, I mean, if Microsoft is actively working on bringing more support to ARM, then that can only really help. But regardless of how you look at this, this news is pretty significant because it means that Microsoft is recognizing the benefits of using ARM processors. And that could honestly have implications that we can't even think of right now. So I'm curious to know what you guys think of all this. Let me know in the comments below whether you think Bootcamp could come back to the Mac. And with that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.